Kylie. I'm the owner of Fire Hydrant Pet Sitting. I'm originally from Kansas City, Kansas and moved out here to Los Angeles. And I'm so excited to be meeting everyone's dogs and getting out and about and meeting people like Kathy. Fire Hydrant Pet Sitting specializes in dog walking, cat care, and drop-in visits. And we are licensed, bonded, and insured to make sure that the homeowners, their pets, and of course our employees are safe and secure. I've been in the industry since about 2013, 2014. And I started as a kennel tech. And so I would just let the dogs out, make sure that their feeding and their instructions were correct. And then I moved here. I started doing pet sitting on the side and my main job was in human resources. And so I always continued to do pet sitting on the side before work or after work. And then it came to a point, a fork in the road where it's like I had to choose one. And so here we are. I quit my job in 2018 and have been doing this full time ever since. Uh, it's been fun. This is Bear. Hi, he's a German Shepherd mix with Akita. I'm her Chihuahua. Hi. Hi, Kelly. Hi. She's a princess that doesn't like to be walked on a leash, so we like to carry her. And she always needs that extra support. And so by having this backpack, it's flat down here, so it's just really comfortable. Instead of the baby sling, I have her in where she's all clean around. And yeah, she's definitely secure and comfortable. Is she lying down? Oh, she is. <laughs> I'm so happy she likes this so much. I cannot even tell you. I'm so happy for her. If you ever do travel with this, you yeah. can put it over your luggage as well. You right could there. even put pens here. Starting point was realizing that I can actually make this a job. I dedicated six months to just research and finding out everything about the pet industry. It just made me more and more excited to do this. I wish I could be around animals all day and really hopefully make a difference in their lives. And so then I did. And at the end of that six months of the research, I quit my job. It actually started with boarding. I was boarding dogs because I, I, you know, I was You're like, bring me the dogs. <laughs> we did. There was a time where we had 13 animals in our house, you know, <laughs> that weren't even ours. So we had ours and then the 13 animals on top of it. And so it started with that just because I was in the corporate job. And so on the boarding aspect, it's like, oh my gosh, I get to cuddle with these dogs. And they're just so sweet. And being able to give people that peace of mind while they're on vacation. It's honestly what started it all because then the praise they got is like I actually got to enjoy my vacation. I wasn't able to go anywhere until uh, they found us and getting that praise just it's really meant a lot. And so to be able to continue and evolve. You're like I'm this vacation. Yes, exactly. <laughs> you really have to love boarding the animals too because every pet is different, right? Absolutely. Yes. Everyone has their needs from you know puppies to elderly dogs. They're so since we no longer board pets, we had to transition and it's like, okay, what, how else can we be a benefit to the animals? And so once we started dog walking more, it's like seeing the dogs have so much fun and to be able to train <laughs> them. And we've been able to leash train them and be able to redirect them where we needed. And it, to see the feedback from the owners and how the dogs have been sort of walking better with their owners. So, there was just so many benefits from the human side and the dog side. Do you also do leash training? Well. Yes, we do plenty of leash training, so I'm able to redirect them with the leash. Yes, can you sit for me, please? Sit. sit. Thank you very much. And then if I need him to go this way, you know, we're able to redirect him. And so something we ask during the consultations is what side do you want to walk your dog on? Mm -hmm. Because everyone has a preference for right-handed, left-handed. <laughs> Everybody has a preference, and so we always make sure to ask that to accommodate to our clients. Yeah, because when you do walk dogs, you have to get them used to walking on one side of your body, right? Absolutely. Yeah. And so we make sure that we train the dog. So if you want your dog on the left side, you will then have them walk on the left side. And then if you don't want them past a certain point, we make sure to, that they do. And so we try to lease train them so they're not yanking your head off. So the great thing about Patek's leashes is it has a shock absorber. So then it helps out with the dog and then it helps out with us humans while they're going. And so what's also nice is the leash itself, the material, it doesn't stretch. And that's the biggest thing to look out for, especially if you have an active dog. If the dog is stretching and pulling, it's not doing anything because there's no absorption in the pull of it all. And so with this leash, it has been such a huge help we're able to control the dogs. How are you guys different from other pet sitting companies? Yeah, absolutely. So we have a few differences. One of the big ones is that we do have employees. We don't have contractors. So there's uh, walking apps. They're not licensed, bonded, insured. They're not trained or certified. And so with us, we make sure that our team is fully trained and able to handle any kind of dogs. That's 
so good. yeah, absolutely. And it really means a lot to our clients as well. Yeah, that does give me a peace of mind too. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And then we also meet with dog trainers. So dog trainers are usually with them from about six to 12 weeks. And then it's just on your own. We meet with those dog trainers to learn their forms of method to then continue that dog's training. So if they learn a certain way, if they learn the command out, we'll use that one. What are the Yeah, absolutely. So we go out from Rancho Cucamonga, down to Ontario, Chino, down to Diamond Bar, Brea, up to Walnut area, up to Pandora, everything in the middle. Where can people find you? Yeah, absolutely. People can find us on Instagram or online if they type in fire hydrant pet sitting. We're here and we're kind of a little bit of everything. If you are in the area, definitely come through. Contact Fire Hydrant Pet Sitting Company. Why should people hire you? Yeah, absolutely. People should hire us because we're reliable, we're transparent, and we highly value communication. So you can always access us. We even have a portal to where you can easily text me and the team, and your pro uh, your pet can have a profile as well. So it's super easy and super fun. I love that. So in their profile, do they put like a little picture of they their They do. Own I love it when they do it. and Because then it helps us get to know them better. They can add their birthday, so then we can send birthday cards. I feel like your company is just so much more personal. Too. Absolutely. Relationships are very important to us with the community and with our team and with our clients. We just really want to be as involved as possible. The whole thing with relationships, I feel like with pets, they like really teach you how to be in that more compassionate relationship as well. Absolutely. And if you're able to board 13 dogs, this girl <laughs> is probably the most compassionate person you'll ever meet. Yeah. Which means her business is top notch, full on respect and responsibility, kindness, and love. Like you're saying, the dogs can teach us a lot, and patience is one of the biggest ones. So just be patient and respectful with us. And understanding. Yeah. She has two dogs, five cats. They are so social, and they're all so different. And we all get along, and it's a little circle of life. It's really cute. So besides dog walking, cat care, and drop-in visits, we also offer pack walks. So we walk up to about 15 dogs, about five dogs per person <laughs> and stuff. And so on the pack walks, we go out for about two hours and bring fresh water, treats, and it's just a whole adventure for the pets. They're our babies, honestly. And so we do offer like a form of a babysitter and stuff. So if you need, if you're going on the night out on town or whatever, we can come and stay with your pets for a couple hours and make sure that they get the company love and attention that they want. You guys need to move to her territory. <laughs> You've been doing this for a while now, but it's the importance of walking your pets. Yeah, so walking your pets, it provides them routine. Uh, they are creatures of habit. So having that consistent walking schedule, it's like, okay, if we're doing it between nine and 10, feed every two and between nine and 10. And same with their feeding schedule. They're gonna expect, you know, they can't tell the time. So they stick to a very strict routine and it helps with their um, routine. And then it also helps with socialization. So by getting your dogs out and about, there's sounds going on. There's other dogs in the neighborhood and it helps expose them to that. And then just provides a well-rounded dog. Have you walked your cat before? <laughs> I have in our yard. <laughs> he loves being walked. His name is Autumn. He's an orange tabby and he loves to just sniff around and eat the grass and he loves being out. So this backpack is gonna be something that absolutely love. What happens if they don't walk during their normal routine? Absolutely, so like the summer, it is 95 to 100 degrees. Mm -hmm. And so doing some form of activity, um, dogs can get the same mental workout as a walk. So even though you're not going out walking a mile or two, like you normally do, you can still do something else. So if you're in your house, you could practice a few tricks with them, uh, try to teach them something new, introduce something new to their routine, and it's still that mental workout. Just to get them engaged and their brain stimulated. Absolutely. Otherwise, they would create destructive behaviors, exactly. right? Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And of course, that's something you want to avoid. Give us a quick walking tip. My biggest walking tip is being open to trying new walking equipment. So not one size fits all uh, for any of the dogs. No matter what breed they are, everything is different. So being open to trying, maybe if a collar doesn't work, trying a harness out or a slip leash. Just testing things out is my biggest tip. You're totally right. You know, I used the collar on my smaller Pomeranian dog, mm -hmm. which I should have used the harness because he would run off to chase birds and he would be like, ah, ah. And now he's like, <laughs> 
can walk from Trachea. Man, we started using a harness after that. It so. makes a difference, just being open and trying new things. It Absolutely. Does. So your dog walkers have been trying out the new petite dishes. Yes. What do they think about them? They love them. Oh my gosh, especially with their puppies. Because during COVID, a lot of people adopted puppies and they're really big, very hyper. And so having the new leash and the soft absorbent piece it helps so much because we're able to maintain the dogs. It doesn't stretch, which makes it super helpful. And we like how thick they are too, because then we can always feel the dogs around our wrist. The shock absorber really controls the tug too when they pull. Absolutely. So it's easier on their necks, on your arms, mm -hmm. even on their body as well. Yes, he's very content. He doesn't feel any pressure. Have you felt a more comfortable grip yourself when you use pet teeth leashes, walking your dog or other people's dogs? Absolutely. So even with, with my dog or with our clients' dogs, this leash does help because since it's so thick, we're able to have it around our wrist and it makes it easy to grip and hold on to, which has been super helpful, especially with the bigger dogs where they tend to want to go home. Yeah, like they'll walk you sometimes instead, exactly. but this one will like control. And it's a perfect <laughs> length so the dogs aren't going to go too far away. And it, it really does help a lot.